Mrs. Good Angel. morning. Hello, hello. How are you, Mrs. Angel? Oh, uh, Mr. White, it is week 10. Oh, did we make it? Week 10 of 10. Have we made it? Oh, I get it. I'm calling it. It's I'm happening. It. It's, it's here. It's, it's here. It's well, here. A few, a few more little little T's to cross and uh, dots to uh, I's to dot. Um, but oh, we're getting close. Not a second to spare. Yes. Yes. Do you find that in that last, like, you're counting down until the end of the term, and <sighs> then you're like, oh, will this ever get here? And then it's the last week, and then you go, there's not enough time. Oh my yeah. gosh! <laughs> it's amazing. It isn't it amazing how that happens. And you just hate writing, you know, or you're doing your reports, or you're marking. You're so, oh, will this ever end? Will this ever end? Then you think, mm-hmm. hmm, if I just had a bit more time, I could have done. A, you know, I could have done so much, <laughs> so much more. So, no, 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 wrong, wrong thing no. to think. No, that is the wrong thing to think because what you need is your recovery and preparation time, which is just around the corner and that every one of our teachers and teacher aides and administration officers all deserve your um, your recovery and preparation time. That is a breath away. And in fact, for some some people... For some people, they might already be there. Oh, we're not talking about the difference between Queensland and and Victorian education at the moment, though, and their holiday schedules and that sort of thing, because I'll be laughing in a few weeks' time. You will, and you will. (laughs) When when my holidays extend. The fact that I'm on holidays right now is going to be a distant memory, and I'm already two days deep (laughs) into my recovery and preparation. Yes, yes. But it was funny, like, recovery and preparation, it's absolutely true. Have you got a... An appointment to the doctor or to the dentist or anything like that, just to, for the running maintenance that you need to do. Because teachers can't just take random mornings off to go and see the doctor for you know regular sort of stuff, or go see the dentist for a checkup or that sort of thing. Have you got any appointments lined up? Have I got appointments lined up? Oh my goodness! So yesterday, yes, yesterday was the dentist, mm-hmm. um, amongst many other things, uh, and. Thursday is the doctor, and I know that out of the doctor will come two MRIs and probably an X-ray. I do believe I have a broken foot, and I have uh, a torn muscle in my shoulder and in my hamstring, I believe. But I'm not a doctor, so I'm going to let my amazing doctor diagnose me. (laughs) So I know that there will be follow-up appointments. And unfortunately, there's a follow-up appointment from my dentist appointment because apparently I'm not doing the maintenance that um, I should be going more regularly than what I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that, mm-hmm. that's that's just teacher teacher life and right yeah. there. It is. Um, it's just yet another thing that non teachers don't understand and know when they refer to our luxurious and extensive holidays. Ooh. Well, no, it's recovery and running maintenance, running maintenance, <laughs> and, and, and preparation time as well. Oh, gee, it is yes. funny though, isn't it? The way that I've already got mine booked for next week. I'm ready, yeah. ready to, yeah. ready to hit well, it. And, and have you booked term. in your also, uh, you know, the mental breakdown and the physical breakdown that happens in that first week as well, where your body just goes, "That'll do. I just need a yeah. couple of days to have this terribly high fever it's and guaranteed. probably some sort of gastro bug." And I'm, yeah, and you're not getting out of bed for a couple of days. Guaranteed. I thought you were referring to the mental. Uh, sanitarium that I need to forewarn my <laughs> eminent uh, <laughs> checking in, but uh, no, well that, that's true as well. Last last holidays, I got um, yeah, I got very sick as soon as the as soon as the final bell went. Um, it's yep. uh, it's not uncommon. It's, no, uh, it isn't. It isn't. So I I am just uh, happy for every one of those people mm. who are working in a school for what is coming for you and. I hope that you get everything done that you have planned to get done and then find a couple of days of just quiet uh, to to really recharge those batteries. Yep. And I know that part of my holidays, is a large part, is doing some work, but uh, I, that, that work is under my own conditions without the students there, without the interruptions um, in my own timelines. Um, I can do it naked if I want to. <laughs> and often do. Uh, yeah, That's it's, right. It's, it's, if it's on your own terms, uh, you know, it's far more manageable. On your own terms, Absolutely. you can set yourself up, you can have a coffee, you can chill out, have a slow start to the day and then, you know, deal with it in the at the speed that you choose, the level of uh, detail that you choose. So it's far more leisurely uh, style of work, yes. 
Absolutely. Uh, so that's what we're all here for. So this podcast has been, it's uh, at the very end of its second season, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, so uh, good. The next season, we will be back for a third season. Uh, but uh, this podcast is all about celebrating the teacher life, uh, the moments in a term, the pressure points, the the massive impact that a teacher has. Uh, we're here to help you navigate through it all. We're here to celebrate you all, uh, clap you out of the building at the end <laughs> of a great term and clap you out of the building at the end of a career, perhaps. We would love to hear if you are retiring uh, so that we can really celebrate the amazing career that you've had as well. We are yeah. just teacher lovers, basically, yeah. uh, lovers of teachers and teacher lovers. I mean, I guess our husbands and wives are teacher lovers. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> that, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. true. Yeah. Also, yeah, that ebbs and, ebbs and flow throughout ebbs and the term flows. as well. It does. Yep. It does. But that, that's right. It's, I want to hear some stories from uh, teachers that are about to uh, retire or mm -hmm. Hang the boots up. Um, I just like because there are all some great, great stories. I've talking talking to teachers who've been in the profession for a while because uh, once they start telling stories, there are plenty there, uh, and that's what we want to share. That's what we want to get into because uh, they're funny, they're uplifting, they're exciting, uh, they're all sorts of things. And they're, they're, um, for those teachers who are retiring after a, a long and lustrous career, they um, they taught in a time when oh, they yeah. weren't the same kind of rules as oh, what yeah. exists. So their stories are fabulous, fabulous <laughs> from a, a time long, long time ago where <laughs> you could smoke in a classroom amongst <laughs> other things. So yes. Um, yes. Short, the shorts were short and um, there was no such thing as a photocopy machine. So what were you complaining about uh. if, if there was, if there, you didn't even have photocopy machines? I'm oh, what? That's half That's my, of my first day, question right? For somebody retiring. <laughs> That's what the frustration yeah. of the profession is. Eighty percent of the frustration of the profession comes from the printer or the mm. or the photocopier. Science. It's the science says it's eighty percent of it comes from comes from the the photocopier. It could be. Mm -hmm. Could be. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're right. Gee, things teaching has changed though, hasn't it? It has. Like even has. when I was at school in the early mid nineties. Some of the things that we got up to as students, you sort of look at it and go, oh, you couldn't get away with that these yeah, days. The good old days before phones, before technology, uh, before security cameras. Yes. Oh, yes. Gosh. When the muck up day ruled and uh, everything oh. was, yeah, everything was a bit different. A bit mm. different. Oh, well. I mean, thank, thank, thank goodness it's not. Yes. Um, yes. We're heading in the right direction. We're heading in the right direction. But I want to know, I want to know, Shaz, how is your competition going? I want to know how you're going against uh, Jonathan and the, uh, who else have you got involved in that? Yvonne, the Yvonne. office manager, Yvonne. Right. It's just the three of us. All right. Yes. Well, thank you cool. for asking. It sounds like a story. Here we go. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not a happy ending. I'm going to tell you that for nothing. Um, so <laughs> you would remember that at the end of uh, the last week, before the last weigh-in, I was in the lead. I was in the lead. I'd hit yes. five kilos in eight weeks. Great weight loss. Um, Jonathan was at 4.8. He was 200 grams behind. Oh, and oh, Yvonne was lagging a little, but she was still in the race. Uh, I think that she was at about 4.2 or something like that. Wow. It's pretty yeah. tight. So it was, it, was, it was a great tight competition. It wasn't a tight ending though. Ooh. So I had a great last week. I had a great last week. I lost 0.9 of a kilo in the last week. Big, wow. Great weight loss. 5.9. That's amazing. 5. Absolutely. Fabulous weight loss. And it's um, like I said right from the start, this isn't, this is, uh, this is about a life change. This is not actually about the, the fast weight loss at all. Yes. Yes. But, yes. But I, at 0.9 of a kilo, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I was feeling a little bit cocky. I was like, yeah, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> I think rightfully so. Thank you're you. thinking that the, your your sacrifice of the midweek drink was about to come to fruition. And I'm yep. expecting that it will. Yes, and um, and that I will be able to maintain my desk and um, uh, maintain the payout to. That's right. Um, yes, it was a hundred dollars each to the winner. Yes. And but more importantly, I was I was the the winner got, got my office. The second place gets <laughs> Yvonne's office, and the third place is on the front desk for a period of three days. On the so phone, the three days was it? Three days? It was three days. Turns out, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, so, I um, hope you fall on the right side of the ledger here. 
<laughs> yeah. So we did we did the weigh in. Yes. And um and we all wrote our number, our last number on a little post it note so that you know we couldn't nobody could dodgy up the numbers. Yeah. So I finished at five point nine. Yvonne finished at six point five. <gasps> <laughs> and Jonathan what? finished at six. Seven point something. No way. No way. He lost three kilos in the last week. Is my maths close there? Your maths is your maths is sound, Mr. White. No so, way. Miss Recount. Jonathan had a I obviously I I I, I questioned. I, I you know I you, you lodged a I, protest. Did I you? did lodge a protest because nobody had lost that much weight on any other week. Like this, this was doubling the weight loss, tripling <laughs> the weight loss in some situations. <laughs> yes. But it turns out that Mr. Jonathan, he deserves the win because he went Rocky style and he went running each evening wearing a garbage bag, sweating out the weight whilst what? running off the weight to then lose um to, to lose that ridiculous weight loss. To be fair, he was cranky in the last week, and un- understandably, because he he didn't have he didn't have a drop of fluid left in his body by weigh in. But um, but I mean, I'm not giving any excuses. What I'm here to say is, I would like to congratulate my colleagues, um, Jonathan. Well done on the big win, <laughs> well and done, Yvonne, I'm so proud of you. And well really, done, we're all winners in this situation. There's only one person who feels a bit like a loser after losing 5.9 <laughs> kilos, and that's this person right yeah. here, um, who's oh. a little bit, um, a, a little bit, a little uh, bit miffed, poorer. Hey? <laughs> and yeah. and funnily enough, on the last day of school, I was oh. I just happened to be at the front desk after weigh in, but I was only there for two minutes. So I can't really count it as a day. And I was there and it is going to be delightful because I'm going to have the most amazing interactions with, um, with my students um, and parents, but (laughs) it was particularly that two minutes was all about the students. So I had one um, student that came up and we talk about star, like star is our effort expectation in our school, which is sit tall, track, answer together and respect. And so he came up um, between classes and he's like, Oh, Mrs. Angel. Oh, I've, I've been meaning to talk to you. you know, all right, well, you're on your way to spelling, so quick, quick. And he's like, oh, well, I think that instead of star, it should be starked. 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 Excellent. So then I, I obviously asked the next logical question. Okay, what does it stand for? So um, we got to the T, which was also still sit tall and track, and then he, he yes. couldn't remember what the A and the R and the K and the C and the T. Right. Were stark. Anyway, so it was a great conversation. Didn't really go anywhere, but Good. I was happy to have it. The next student that there was listening to the conversation I was having with the student giving the feedback on star turning to stuck. Then they um, were signing in on the toilet log and they just let me know they needed to do a poo. Toilet so, log. Sorry, signing yeah. in on the toilet log. Yes. You couldn't think of a <laughs> better name? Log. <laughs> I've got time on the front desk. I'm going to come up with a better, <laughs> a better name. It doesn't sound like oh. you will have time on the front desk. It sounds like you're going to be pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be something. I'm going to tell you that for nothing. Oh, yeah. Um, but um, anyway, it's. What mm-hmm. dates? Now, I need to know the dates because you might get a call <laughs> from um, some funny from people with what, what might sound like funny accents, but are actually mm-hmm. quite legitimate. They might yes. have some strange requests or some strange some feedback. Extra some feedback. feedback. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, It'll be wonderful. Oh, I I'm, can't wait. I, I'm not locking down my days. Um, obviously, Mr. Jonathan is very excited to know when he will be having hosting yeah. high teas, apparently in my office yes. with other staff. He's well, um, got, he's got big plans and bold ambitions for yeah. his time that he will spend in the principal's <laughs> office, and I'm happy for him. But anyway, weight loss and uh, health was the winner in this that's, challenge. That's great. And look, on a serious note, I have been impressed at the level of commitment that you have demonstrated through not drinking during the <laughs> week as she takes a sip of uh, what looks like a whiskey. Um, but it is holidays <laughs> for you, so fair enough. 
But right, and no, that's, that's remember, a good thing. My, and my rules, my rules are that when I'm remember the rules. I have you not been taking notes? <laughs> so it was only because I couldn't drink on podcast night because it was way in the next day. But now there's rules. I don't drink midweek, so that's just a rule. Right. Except if I'm recording a podcast. So if I'm working, then it's okay. If I go to a function, then sure. But I don't go to functions every week and I don't record a podcast midweek every week either. So it's kind of a special occasion only that I would mid-drink, mid-week drink. Right. I know. I can actually, my sis, my phone is lighting up from my sister right now. She's She is going to have an opinion on this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but, Joe. But look, and that's what these things are about. I mean, you know, all the other stuff. I mean, it's fun and all that. But like you said, you are looking this from a more than a short term thing. It's, Absolutely, it's a, it's a change of perspective. It's a different, yeah, different. Uh, you know, look a glimpse at a different way of um, going from your, your week to week, uh, that's which is right. great. Which is great. you've got to mix it up now and then. You've got to stop and um, you know, reevaluate what's going on. Just do it. Do what you want, but do it consciously. And uh, I think you've exactly. uh, you've done that. Well done. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. You've lost I feel your good. Office, but well done. Thank you. Well, I mean, because yeah, sadly the fun doesn't end. So once I get those three days out of the way, I can just move on to my new life of being wait. happy with having lost five point. Any other time in my life, a loss of five point nine kilograms in nine oh, weeks yeah. would. I've never lost weight like that in nine weeks before. That's that's been that's that's uh, earth shattering for me. But also, amazing. yeah, and yes. yet a punishment is a common. Oh, it's not a punishment. <laughs> it's not it's, a punishment. It's not it a just reward. Means, <laughs> it's not. I'm just not going to be as productive um, as what I would usually be, and that's okay. It's just going to be a different couple of days, which is fine. Well, Which is wonderful. Look, um, Jonathan, Yvonne, I'm pretty sure Shaz is not going to tell me what dates, but if you could pass me those dates through, um, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I might try and record some phone calls, see what we can do. Wonderful. Sounds good. All right. Um, so our spiraling upward question today um, was actually, what's the best part of teaching? Mm. So heading into the holidays, Mr. White, I mean, uh, it's, I think I feel like if I asked you this question midterm or at any other term, at, at any other time of the term, <laughs> it, we might get a different response. So lay down, was there? Tell, tell me, <laughs> late uh, with three, a couple of days left to go in your in your semester. What's the best part of teaching, Mr. White? Uh, look, now that uh, mm. now that reports are written and exams are marked, um, I'm going to surprise you a little bit, and I'm going to say the students is the students are the best part of teaching. Uh, we've got house drama coming up the last week of term. A lot of the a lot of what we do is uh, dedicated towards preparing for house drama day, which is the last day of term. Uh, and we, my house, traditionally do very well in this competition, uh, but we've had a few speed humps lately. Um, <laughs> the, the latest one was our uh, a couple of poor students spent hours on creating this life size velociraptor five no. foot tall velociraptor <laughs> out of cardboard and it wasn't just a silhouette it was, it was sort of like you could move it around as well oh my goodness we're talking hours and hours and hours of work that um at year 12 in particular put in um she put she told me five hours worth of work while she's also working on a extended essay and this is an ib talk which means she's very busy um yeah so we were that went missing. It was all, in the all, I was going to say all, worth, all worthwhile as long as it's um it's been put to good use. Well, no, <laughs> disappeared. Yeah. Um, and obviously, getting lost from the Year Twelve student common room, we're thinking, oh, this is some skullduggery here by one of the opposing houses. We'll flush this out. Nope, nothing happened. I spoke to the teachers, sent out of a group email. Nope, spoke to maintenance. And asked uh, the head of maintenance to have a chat to his uh, cleaners for me. Uh, and it comes back that, oh, yes, actually, that was um, mistakenly uh, interpreted as, as, as being recycling. As rubbish. As rubbish. Um, <laughs> so that found its way into the dumpster. And it was yesterday after school rehearsals. Uh, we had our tech rehearsals. And after school, there were three of us wading through. So two students and I wading through this 
um, dumpster full of cardboard. And I'm thinking, how good's this? You know, a couple of couple of students and a teacher here digging through to to get back the work, and we're doing some teamwork sort of thing. It was quite team building, actually. Yeah. Um, and I wish I had a uh, happy happy ending for you, but we couldn't find it in the end. Oh no! But within within about half an hour, we'd gathered because we we're going through all the cardboard. We found tons of cardboard that we could use to make another one, and the girls just got together and they started working on it. And it's looking good, and I'm hoping that by happen. the end of the week it'll it'll happen. So yeah, I think students and just being you know who else do you sift through a dumpster with? Like what what does this happen? Exactly, that's exactly. And who who how many other jobs would you be find yourself doing that with a group of kids? Nope. Nope. Yeah, well, just with anybody and just with anybody. Um, and finishing yeah. with a smile on your face or yeah. with a new plan. Yeah, yeah that is we very, very cool. Laughing as we're doing it. And obviously, yeah, we were disappointed. But one of the girls said to me, uh, hey, Mr. White, this is a bit like like a sitcom. You know, you get that sitcom plot line where, you know, they've lost something in the dumpster and they all have to go through the dump, the rubbish to get to it. Said, yeah, it yeah, does it sound it like is. Seinfeld or something, yeah, doesn't it? Sounds it sounds like something like that. I said, oh, that, that yeah. sounds good because usually at the end of those plot lines you find what you're looking for. But uh, sadly we didn't. But I'm hoping yeah. that um, – my house will salute in house drama on Friday and it will all be happily ended. What, which one, what's the house that your house has red, got a lot of? Red hmm? house. Red, your house is red house. Mm. But what's the animosity between you Ooh, and which house? I don't like, I don't like blue house. Uh, what's, what are they called? They're called Andrews. Ah, Andrews. <laughs> I was so Sounds ready to like point my the finger Jonathan. at them. I thought, yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Cheating by going for a run and uh, oh gosh, with a, a, we are just sweating it out, abducting velociraptors. Oh, the worst! <laughs> yeah, that does that. That that uh, abducting of a dinosaur sounds totally like the kind of thing an Andrews house would do. Oh, so so Andrewsian. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Um, well, that's my best part of teaching. I reckon just you know the stuff you get to do with students. What do you reckon, Chaz? What's your favourite part of teaching? Um, so once again, I'm two days into my um, recovery and preparation time. So <laughs> the easy answer would be recovery and preparation. But I, I have to agree that the, the student interactions is, uh, is what it's all about. <laughs> I had the most amazing hi- highlight to my semester just recently, uh, a young boy who was one of our 27 foundation students. So he came to us in grade four. Wow. Uh, and he was in my reading class right back at the start last year and um, and he was learning his, uh, had, so he hadn't learnt his phonemic, phonemic awareness, um, didn't have phonemic awareness, didn't know his phonics and he was standing in line the other day as I walked past his class and he was holding a chapter book and he's in grade five now oh. and uh, I asked him what he was reading and he said, I'm reading this chapter book called Bad Guys. What? And I said, no way. Awesome. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> and I said, what do you love most about the book? And then he started talking to me and then he had to go into his his reading class. I said, I would love if you would come and read to me at some stage. So next lunch, he was there with his lunchbox and he said, I'm here to read. So he was eating his sandwich and he was reading aloud to me from his chapter book. He got to, he was, he got to it. There was big, big words in there. Then he's sounding out the word. If he didn't know it, then asking me what the meaning is. And he was just nailing it. It was the best lunchtime ever. Spectacular. So, yeah. So you don't get to have moments like that. Uh, in in other p- professions, so well, no, the kids but, are, the kids are the best, absolutely uh, the best. Yeah, and you realize what we've just said. Like my favorite thing, uh, the exemplar of which I gave was crawling through a dumpster. <laughs> and you've got as a teacher, we get no time to have lunch, no. and the time that we do, you know, we may or may not want to spend it listening to a student um, go through their reading. But we've just said that they're the best things yeah, about best teaching. moments. Yeah, Best. hands down. Amazing, amazing, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I love it. How I good love is it. teaching? Seriously, Teaching's it is. Pretty it's good. pretty amazing. It's easy for yeah. you to say. You're two days into whole into uh, <laughs> recovery and re- preparation, but uh, <laughs> exactly. That's all right. We're never. That's that's true though. We're never more than six weeks away. It's what you said right back at the start. Exactly. That's it is um, true. It is true. That's it's great. It is. That's true. great. No, all right. Um. So, 
keeping on with those magical moments, uh, as mm-hmm. I said earlier in a couple of weeks ago, I do some work in Canberra and one of the amazing pre-service teachers, no, he wasn't a pre-service teacher. He's a beginning teacher. So he's in his first or second year of teaching. Um, I got to go into his classroom and got to watch him teach and he's just absolutely phenomenal. And I asked him to share a magical moment with us. So here awesome. um, is going to be the awesome Toby from St. Bede's in Canberra. Great. Oh, nice work, uh, Toby. Toby. So he, uh, he's he got this kid and he's on prac and it just shows you how much difference you can make to students when you're on your prac placement. So obviously all teachers go and do a placement um, before they actually get qualified. Mm-hmm. So going on his prac and this kid who's never been, doesn't go to school, built a relationship with Toby, went to school every day uh, when he was there. He got the first piece of assessment out of this student uh, bonded with him, learning that relationships, relationships, relationships. How yeah. many times on this yeah. podcast are we banging on about relationships, it's Mr. True. White? It's true. It absolutely is. It's about making those connections uh, and just connecting and just, you know, it doesn't work all the time with all the people, um, but uh, it's important that we get through to every student at some point. It's about reaching out and trying to connect anyway, even if it's mm. that might not be the breakthrough moment, but it's laying a foundation yeah. and it's uh, it's that first moment where a student is noticing that a teacher is noticing them positively. And then sometimes okay. it won't be on the first, sometimes it might be on the 15th time that they notice mm. that that teacher noticed them, but it's all laying a foundation and it's yes. all, it's all important. Absolutely. Great work, Thanks, Toby. Toby. Keep up the great work, mate. Yes, And, definitely. and um, hi, hi to all of my awesome schools that I'm working with are down in Canberra. They're doing amazing work, working on high impact teaching practices and, um, absolutely changing lives in their classrooms. Great so stuff. great work. Uh, mm. Mr. White, mm-hmm. are you ready to bring us home with our uh, last wise crack or wise oh, cracks oh. for season two? Absolutely. Why not? Do it. <laughs> okay. What is weekly wise cracks? What do you got, Mr. White? Do, 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 do. So uh, the thing about being a teacher is sometimes you get extras. Uh, so it means if you've got a spare, sometimes you have to go and cover a class that someone else is you know, absent for some reason, um, which is kind mm-hmm. of cool because you get to, I'm an English and geography teacher, but you get to sit in on other classes and see what they're doing and you know, interact with different group of kids and, and different material, which is great. I was sitting on in this class um, for science one day, I can't remember what year level they were, but it was science and they were doing the periodic table. Uh, and I said, oh, I remember some bits of the periodic table. There's like hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. They go, what? Why did you yell that? Why did you yell beryllium? I said, ah, that's the element of surprise. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, stop that. Did you, like, did you like settle right. down? Did you like that one, did you? That was good. That was good. I'm a science <laughs> teacher. I like that. That's great. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, it was a bit of a short one. I've got, I do have another one that I can might, you know, just a clearance sale at the end of end of term. Start with a new get slate next out. term. Get them out. Two for, yeah, oh, two for so, one. So, so, so I'll discount being out the front here for the last of the gags <laughs> of the season. Um, Excellent. Uh, we were doing creative writing and we were looking at Marvel um, and, you know, superpowers and all that sort of stuff. And they said, uh, Mr. Mm-hmm. White, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And I said, uh, Cold War Russia. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, they were slow as you, but she might want to be quicker than you. <laughs> like, oh, is, oh it, no. is, is it too soon? <laughs> is it too soon? Cold War Russia? It's a long time ago. I feel like it's still too, still too soon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, you can insert, insert any other superpower that is a reference to a <laughs> geopolitical country rather than rather the ability to fly. I get it. I get it. Invisibility. <laughs> yeah. Invisibility. Yeah. Good. Uh, what class was that? <laughs> that was, oh, it was creative writing years ago in English. Oh, yeah, well played, I was like Mr. White. Seven Thank class, you. I didn't get it. Neither did no. you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Checking. Is this microphone? Is this microphone? Testing, testing. <sighs> testing. Te- here we go. Yes, no, I we're back. Have, I should have opened with that one. <laughs> You probably should have. No, Beryllium was good. That was uh, you got to pick. You got to pick your crowd there. Nah, we'll edit that one uh, out then. Uh, there's some, there's some, the history geography teachers out there just celebrating the hell out of you right now. So, oh, they're still well double over in laughter. Absolutely. Mm, I know they're still pulling it together. We'll pull it together because I've got a teaching tale. All right, brilliant. Um, it's um, it's a classic. It's a classic. Important lesson here as well. Here we go. Teaching tales. Dun, dun, dun. All right, beginning teacher. Just really wanting to make their mark mm-hmm. on this world. And they were given the opportunity to run the Christmas play. So they Ooh. were excited to really just do do their best and, and, you know, do a good job. So they worked with all of the students. All of the students knew their part. But they were, <laughs> this person wanted more. They wanted, they really wanted to do something different because, you know, a Christmas play, it's been done, it's been done. I mean, so stroke of brilliance. We are going to introduce a real live horse <gasps> into the play. Just a small horse, though, because we're not crazy. Just a small horse because what could go wrong with a small what horse? What could go wrong? Exactly. So night of the big event, everything's going well. The parents are ooing and ahhing. Oh, this is amazing. Our kids are so cute. Are they cute? And then out comes the horse, the small yeah. horse. Um, and the, the parents, and they are suitably excited. Oh, so rapturous, rapturous applause wow. for the small horse entering the stage. Um Apparently, rapturous applause makes a small horse Ooh. bolt, buck, um, <laughs> which apparently wasn't choreographed into the play. Who knew? Oh, uh, no. Bucked and bolted through the crowd. Oh, um, no. Through the yeah, crowd? Through the crowd. Uh, no one was hurt, amazingly, because it was just a small horse. Just though. a small really, what, <laughs> what could a small go wrong horse. With, what could go wrong <laughs> not with not a much. small horse? Not, not much. And... Um, but without a doubt that our beginning teacher did create the memorable, memorable event that um, she was trying to create, uh, so nailed it in mm. one one sense, but uh, also learned that very, very important lesson that you should never work with children and animals no. and I'm hoping and a small horse counts as an animal so <laughs> if anybody any beginning so. teachers are out there write that down mm, good tip. don't try to scale up your performance with a small animal or animal of any sort yes yes and I would say that extends beyond Christmas uh, uh, end of year stuff I'd say that applies to anything uh, small horses are probably not the best way to go no. Wow, a couple of you dollars do, hurt. You, 
you um you have a drama event, are you coming up just late later this week to <laughs> we just it, yes. So I, I I'm glad. Like I hear that you had a velociraptor uh, that a velociraptor. went missing the other day, a fake one. So well done for not choosing to introduce a real small a five foot uh, velociraptor. Well, in absence of a five foot velociraptor, we need something. We need something that's going to crack and sizzle. You know, a small horse. Oh. A small horse. Hey! There you go. Just saying, you want to beat Andrew's house. Oh, you just have to bring it. You, you bring a small horse onto that stage, and you let us know <laughs> in season three. You let us know how the small horse goes on stage on Friday. Cannot lose. No. Cannot lose. Well, you could. You Come really on, could. you can't beat that. No. <laughs> uh, there you go. Love good it. one to finish off with. Nice Very work, good. and we. Keep sending those in, guys. Uh, they're fabulous, absolutely yeah, fabulous. Them. You can send them into teaching. No, teachers change lives podcast at gmail.com. I'm glad you finally uh, got that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I've been working so hard on that, Mr. White. Uh, <laughs> or the fabulous thing is that our Facebook uh, Teachers Change Lives podcast is going gangbusters right now. It just went a little yeah. bit less gangbusters because I don't think anybody says gangbusters anymore. Um, but we've had, <laughs> we've had quite a few people uh, joining us just recently. And if you join us, you get some extra content and you also find out when any of our new po- our podcasts get released. So join that group. Yep. Um and you can also reach out to us then if you're in that group with any of your stories, your teaching tales, your memorable moments, your wisecracks. Yes. Uh, send them through inspiring them stories. Through. If you've got somebody who we should be interviewing, you should be reaching out to us and letting yes. us know who they are. Or a review. Give us a review. Tell us what's up. Absolutely. That's great. Um we you can also give reviews on Apple Podcast as yep. well. You can give us five stars and you can actually leave your words. Do we have any reviews? Uh, we've got one here. Of course we have reviews. Yes, of course absolutely. We, do. we could always use more, but we, we do have one. This is from, uh, from Hamish. What an amazing podcast. Shaz, Mrs. Angel, definitely embodies all that this podcast is about. From firsthand experience, she was the kind of teacher who always strived to earn the respect of students rather than demand it of them. Not always an easy task. Bravo. Do you remember that student? Absolutely. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> How good's that? See, it's impactful, <laughs> impactful both ways. Oh, First hand experience. Sure. That's brilliant. For sure. Thank you, Hamish. That's, That's great. Very, glad, very glad cool. you're involved. Um, actually, so very likely Hamish reached out after a um a very cool thing that I got on board with in uh, with my Facebook, just my personal Facebook. Mm-hmm. I had a friend who's also a teacher put up a post during Teacher Appreciation Week um, and the post said, uh, so I just copied it and pasted it onto my own personal feed. So I'm not sure how many students I have as friends here on Facebook, but if I taught you or if you know somebody I taught at Woodridge, Balmoral, Rochdale, Whites Hill, Callumvale, or Springfield, keep reading, please. For Teacher Appreciation Week, I'd love my for my former students to reply to this post and tell me how you are doing and what you are doing with school, job, career, family, etc., or a memory. Can't wait to hear all of your adventures. That's and great. And Mr. White. That's great. What, did, you, did you get something? My goodness. It blew up. Really? And I cried. I cried. I, I, it was... It was the most fabulous couple of days just seeing these stories roll in, (laughs) these kids roll in. And you know what? So you know I'm a principal. So there wasn't a single person who wrote anything on here when I was a principal about my time as a principal. Uh. All of the people who made comments were students who I taught when Mm. I was a teacher. Like that's when you make the real impact with a student. So it's when I was a classroom teacher uh, teaching classes consistently, and oh my gosh, the memories just came <laughs> rolling in. Can I share some with you? Please, please do. Uh, so from um, should from I a get a box of tissues? Oh, I'm going to tear no. up here. 
No. No. Um, so just from Jacinta, you were my care class teacher in high school. You helped me a lot when I was going through a very rough time in school. Because of dedicated caring teachers like you, I decided to become a teacher myself. Aye. I'm in my 11th year as a maths and chemistry teacher. I've been with my high school sweetheart for over 17 years and married over 10. We have a beautiful 18-month-old daughter. Thank you for all of your support at a time when I was at my lowest. I will always remember you and your kindness. Oh, it's, that's amazing. <sighs> that's amazing. And look, it is true. Students might not remember what you, what you teach them, but they'll always remember how you make them feel. Well, then there's this funny one as well from my beautiful Tian, who I remember teaching. I have so many great memories of you throughout my senior years, but the first one that popped into my head was when you called out to me at lunchtime and asked me to come over so you could ask me something in private. You then said quietly, why are your hands so orange? What went wrong with your fake tan? <laughs> <laughs> See, sometimes it's not more of it's not about what happens. It's 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 about more than academics. Yeah, she said these days <laughs> these days I'm a proud mama to two beautiful kids and recently got engaged to the love of my life. I work awesome. as a support worker for people with cognitive impairments and mental health conditions and just over halfway through a dual degree of behavioral science. Um so very, 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 very cool. Beautiful. I love that. Um <laughs> and last one um, from a great kid who did um, who who did was in my volleyball team and in my senior PE class. Um, so Levi, uh, he says, Shaz, many memories, many mem many memories. I think one of the most profound is when you won your bronze medal at nationals out at CUSAC. It was an epic day, and the crowd was yours that day. I like that memory <laughs> because it was all about you. I have hundreds of memories of you doing great things for others. I've been teaching on Thursday Island for the past five years. We'll probably teach for the long haul in some capacity. I'll work for you one day, but not now though. I live in South America for this year. I've got to climb some volcanoes and do some dancing across this continent. Love you, mate. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that that's is, awesome. That's very, very, oh, very cool. That's awesome. And a guaranteed so, job uh, that she gets back uh, Australia. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Levi's an absolute champion. That's so great. I can I can my teaching tip, my my end of season two teaching tip be yes. reach out to some of your ex students. I uh, mm. find out what they're doing. Ask them if you made a difference in their lives. This this there was sixty one of my ex students made a comment and some of my ex colleagues made beautiful comments about the, the difference that I made working with them. Um, it was the most uplifting few days just seeing these messages roll in. And you guys right now in, in Victoria uh, in week 10, there's some of my colleagues here in Queensland who are also uh, in the state system are doing week 10. Reach out, find out and get some of this positivity yeah. rolling into you. You deserve it and you need something to get you over the line yep. and you're worth it and you're making a difference. Even if you don't reach out to the kids, please know the little things make a big difference with kids. Love it. Love it. Perfect way to uh, sign off for the second season. I love that. That's brilliant. All right. Well, Mr. White, it's been the greatest it's uh, been great. pleasure and privilege. It's so much fun to be doing this with you. <laughs> it is. Hang it's in great. there. You destroy Andrews on Friday oh. with that horse. Um, let us know how the horse <laughs> yeah, goes. I will. I will. I will. I'll uh, do my best to take footage. <laughs> and send my apologies to your principal for me goading you into that. And we will see everybody back for season three. Um, have a great uh, uh, recovery, recovery and preparation and period. Preparation. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. All right. See ya. Bye.